What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Insect Clay Artist and in today's video I'm going to make a tripod from the Great Martian War. So recently I saw this War of the Worlds adaptation called The Great Martian War and I watched it and I thought it was really really good. It was kind of different to the other films and I thought they put it together in a very clever way I think it's well done now back to the video I found some old uh, assembled uh, model kits World War 1 or World War 2 model kits I don't really know but it looks like World War 1 to me so I'm going to be using it I'm just going to make some slight modifications then I'm going to start making the sandbags not before gluing the gun together again because it all fell to bits because the super glue wouldn't dry and now just uh, assembling the sandbags and after that they are ready to bake so I have the layout here this is the tripod armature was not easy to make when, a, when you have a machine that has three identical legs so I'm just going to make the mechanism that holds the ribbons of death. It's pretty much these tentacles that the these uh, little tripods have that they used to kill. These are the little ones, the unpiloted tripods. They are, I think, the drone. Yeah, the drones uh, controlled by the much, much larger tripods with the pilots inside them. The larger tripods have the Martians. They're not drones. These ones are drones. Okay, enough blabbering around about the tripods. I've just finished uh, the first part and he is ready to bake. And after that, I am going to start making the uh, three identical legs. This was, uh, well, wasn't really uh, that easy, but wasn't really that hard either. I mean, I just stripped strips of clay that I just stuck onto the wire. That's about it. But this did take me an hour to do, so yeah. Okay, with legs finished, he can now bake for the second time and after that I can get started on his feet and after that I'm going to work on the uh, characteristic head. Now the head was kind of simple to do if you really think about it, it's just this uh, dome shaped head with a bunch of uh, details on it so I'm going to be doing that then I can start work on these uh, plate uh, like shapes that are on the back of the head Okay, now with the head finished, I can start working on the ribbons of death. If you were listening, uh, this is what I was talking about earlier. This is their main uh, weapon, which they use for killing. They stab, slash, 
tear people in half, you name it. Brutal, but after making them, they are ready to bake for one last time. Then I can glue on the head and then paint him a, a dark uh, bronze color. Okay, after painting on the first coat, I'm going to dry brush a lighter bronze color onto him and then I'm going to dry brush a little bit of silver on the edges, paint the ribbons of death off camera and then uh, that's the uh, tripod pretty much done. With tripod done, I can start painting all the military uh, stuff. Uh, this was pretty simple to paint, all I had to do was dry brush on a little bit of green, paint on some of the uh, details with some black paint, and then uh, paint the faces of the soldiers, the artillery shell that that guy's holding, and uh, the finish quite quickly. Now for the base itself, I'm going to be making the ground with some uh, gap filler. I just spread this out, uh, not being too clean, since I wanted it to look like uh, dirt. Then I'm going to add on the sandbags and wait for that to dry overnight. Well, I think it only takes like three hours, but I waited overnight. Okay, now painting on a layer of brown paint, then I can add on a dark brown wash and then dry brush a uh, lighter brown on top of it to really make it look like dirt. Now for the bit that I've been waiting for for a few days while I was making this, the assembly. Now before that I'm going to add on a little bit of a, a grass to make it well n less boring for a starters and secondly uh, there was a bit of grass on the battlefield, well I think anyways. I'm just going to glue on a few bushes onto the uh, sandbags and then I can glue on the tripod and all the other stuff. Now if you are wondering why there are marks all over the base and there weren't marks uh, beforehand a few seconds ago, well that's because earlier I had glued everything on and found out I forgot to click the record button. So I ripped it off and clicked the record button and re-glued them on. Okay now after all this hard work the diorama is now finished. And this was quite the project now if you enjoyed this video then please hit that like button and subscribe and then hit that bell button so you don't miss any future videos and if you have any ideas on what creatures or monsters i should make next then please let me know in the comments